Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 The theme um, I was told to talk about technology uh, social media in marriage or in family but technology in marriage or in, fam- in the family Omutwe gwe bampa do kuogera ko gukwatagana ne kutekeronojia ebyamaulire ne mpuliziganya mu family I don't want to use a lot of t- uh, terms because if you talk about technology and social media you're going to use a lot of uh, jargons but I'm not going to use them I'm going to be, be sure that I talk I use the words that you know Sijja koze sabigambo bizibuzi bobinji olomutu ogwampereddwa na injja koze sabigambo byabulijjo byamusobola okutegeera 218 says the Lord God and the Lord God said it is not good that man should be alone I'll make him a helper comparable to him 218 Genesis 218 218 au mukama katonda nayo geranti si kirunjyo omuntu okuberanga yekka na mukolera omubeze amsanira so the maker of man says it is not good for man to be alone kati ya tondo omuntu agamba si kirunjyo omuntu okubera yekka genesis chapter 1 and genesis chapter 2 is full of good things everything that god created said this is good this is good this is good luberye berye sule mune yo kubiri bintu eju bijudde bintu ebirungi buli katonda kye yatonda nga gamba ntinga nalabanga kirungi nalabanga kirungi in fact things start getting defiled or the part gets spoiled starting with chapter 3 ebintu bitandiko okwononeka musule yo kusatu but in chapter 1 and chapter 2 everything is perfect everything is good na ye musule soka ne yo kubiri buli kintu kitukiride buli kintu kirungi but god finds one thing in the perfect chapter in a good chapter which is not good. Na ikatonda asanga yo ekintu kimu musule tukiride musule jude birungi ekitali kirungi. And he says it's not good for man to be alone. Na gamba si kirungi omuntu okuberanga yekka. It's good that God is the one who said that because if it was man who said that he would not have a solution for it. Kirungi okubanti katonda ya kyogera kubanga singa yali muntu nga yakyogera obo lyawo tetwali funye answer ya. And he gave us the solution for that. Era na atuwa nekyo kudda mu ekyo. And he said I'll make him a helper. Nagamba na namukolera omubezi that is the origin of marriage awo bufumbo we butandikira god saw that it's not good for man to be alone katonda yalabanga si kirunjyo omuntu okubera yekka i know the people that are listening to us and the people that are watching us are people that saw it also as god had seen it that it's not good to be alone manyi na abali yabatuuliriza na abatulaba namwe mwakiraba nga katonda we yakiraba anti si kirunjyo omuntu okubera yekka but there are many very many things that come along that you did not expect as the journey goes on na yo waliye bintu bingi ebigenze bijjo be bijja ngate wabisubira anti bilijja because adam and eve of chapter 2 are very different of adam and eve of chapter 3 kubanga adam ne kawa abesule yo kubiri banja ulo nyo ku adam ne kawa abali musule yo kusaba their gap is the is like the gap between death and life waliye ba waliyo enjawulo nene nyo eringe enjawulo eri wakati wo bulamu nokufa in fact it does not even explain it The gap between chapter 2 the man of chapter 2 and the man of chapter 3 is like death and life. Enjawule ri wakati wo muntu ali musule yo kubiri ne musule yo kusatu twinzo jigera geranya ne enjawule ri wakati wo bulamu nokufa. So marriage continues even after chapter 2. No recho bufumbo bwe yongera yo nokusuka kusule yo kubiri. There are some inventions that happen in chapter 2 and chapter 3 as we go on waliye bintu ebivumbulwa musule yo kusatu nokweyongerayo but from there onwards the adams that came up and the eves that came up are in a fallen state nayo kuva musule yo kusatu ba adam abajja ne bakawa abajja bali mu mbera ndala ngasinunyi they are getting together to be together they don't want to be alone but the two want to be together they are collecting two very difficult people being together in the same room baya galanga okujja baba gala okujja babira wa muna yenga abantu abajjo okubira wa mu murumu emu nga tebafanagana adam wa chapter 2 ne adam wa chapter 3 banjaulo kawa wa chapter 2 ne kawa wa chapter 3 banjaulo the adam of chapter 2 is very different from the adam of chapter 3 likewise the eve of chapter 2 is very different from the eve in chapter 3 obufumbo obuli mu chapter 2 ndoza environment jebwina aliyanja uloko kubufumbo bwetulimu forwa lero 
the environment in which the marriage in chapter 2 was in must be very different from the environment in which our marriage is today. In my fall, me as Musoke, and in my last, I consider to have someone, a partner, who also has a similar problem in her last, in her problems. So we come together, but when each one of us has problems. So Kubanga it is the reason why we need these conferences, these teachings for the marriages, because you have brought together two people that grew up in different places with different backgrounds. So to avoid crashing, this has to be there. These teachings have to be there. Tuba tu chali mulu gendo lukubanti Adam ne Eva ba chali wamu beyonge deno maso jetu genda ne wajawo echira la chabaita technology technology na ina ingida mu system. When we are looking at the journey of Adam and Eve as they continue. Technology comes in and it brings something new in the Te marriage. Technology is um, uh, a way of making things simpler. Technology engeri ya kola bintu, mongeri enyangu ko enyangu. These are techniques, skills, and methods, and processes used in production of goods or services to accomplish objectives. Their methods, their techniques, their mm. processes that are put together to accomplish something. And when we talk about technology, we are not basically wherever we are, the world in which we are is full of technology. This microphone is an invention and its technology. The car is technology. The house where you are is technology. Is technology. Manufacturing is technology. So you find that technology is all, all around us. So just technology at And you find that technology is broken into only six things. It's in communication. It is in bio related things. It is in manufacturing. products. Energy and power. It is in transportation and in constructions. You find that technology is all, all around us. It is intended to make life simpler. So it came into marriage to make our marriage simple. But again, let me also talk about social media because it's technology, social media, and marriage. I'll end with marriage. Then social media. So social media, by definition, this is technology that facilitates the sharing of ideas, thoughts, information, through building virtual networks. So, the problem is not with technology. The problem is not with social media. These are aids to quicken our love, to quicken our communication, to quicken our being together, to support our being together. So, social media and technology are magnifiers. So, technology and social media they magnify who you are. They magnify the marriage. 
So it is not the problem. The problem is not with the uh, technology. The problem is with the person who handles technology. So I just want to center on social media because basically it's what we want to talk about. Because in it and social media, basically we are talking about phones and uh, television and internet. Those are the things that really uh, are minuses and pluses of our marriage. TV, ne internet kubanga bievi kwa ate nyo kubufumba wafe osanga omuntu nga koze sa esimu ye okubanga ayogerane bawe you find someone using her phone to communicate to her husband no sanga omuntu omulalange esimu ajikoze sa bulubanyi gane bawe bulubanyi gane mchala we nga ajikoze sa nga coping strategy kwa wanera na yefla ina kwa ayogera na yobana akubila senga awe and you also find someone who uses the phone only when they are annoyed to communicate to some other person or to show that they are communicating to some other person. Osango muntu omulalanga Facebook, WhatsApp, tavako, abeda ko full time, na yenga biyako liyako bili constructive. There are people you find who use WhatsApp and Facebook all the time for long hours, but when he's doing constructive things there. Ngali mkuzimba haba antu haba lala na yenga pata na gubamu kubela na ye tamuabude. Na yenga biyako la inzo kugamba ndi mkule bintu ebili constructive ku Facebook. When is using Facebook or WhatsApp to do things that are constructive to other people of value to other people but when their partner does not understand it. Hello Jakwesa nga you'll find that uh, face, uh, social media robs us of attention. Number one, it robs attention from the family. It takes away attention. You're talking to someone and this person is on the phone. You talk for five minutes or ten minutes and he gets only the conclusion of what you're talking about. I had some discussions somewhere and even here that uh, women can handle uh, doing multiple tasks. I'm reminding you, you cannot, God gave us two eyes and he gave us one brain. It focuses on one thing at a time. Njagala nango kugamba, antikatonda ya tuwa masa avidi na ye obuongo ya tuwa wamuru ndi gumu, buso wala kola chintu chimu, mchisere chimu. Once you say that you're doing this and you're doing the other, your attention is, do, is on one thing or it is not on both of them. Erabo ogeza ako kole bintu evidi mchisere che chimu, ojakuba kuchimu chojio kufako, oboli yao nobu tafaku biyombi. So, I'm here to tell you that you will find that social media has taken away attention in families. So, ndi wano kugamba, ndi social media, e inabwe jewo, e bilo wazo bia fe, kufamileza fe. People are at home and they are far away from home. Aba, ntubasa ulo kubele waka, physically, na yenga atepali walanyo na waka. And what, most of, most of the cases, we want you to be there physically, but we want your psychological presence there. We want you, we want the whole of you to be around. Atenge visede visinga tukwa agala, nga uoli, nga guomotu, nga tukula bako, na yenga nebido wazo vieda, nga uoli, ya uoli. The next thing that social media has robbed away is communication. Ate chidala, social media chejeo, kwe kuhuli ziganya, wana ukugira ganya. Yes, it's all about communication, but who are you communicating with? You're busy communicating with the whole world, but you're not paying attention to the inner circle, the people that are close to you, the people that matter. Oyogera nensi yoni yewa bwero yekwe tolode na yenga atiba na bakuri wano kumpi toyogera na vo. The day you'll get sick is the day you'll know that these people that you don't pay attention to are the people that matter. Oluna kuroli duala, luogendo kutegera, ntiaba ntuma naba kuetoda bakulio kumpi, boba detofa ako, ntiate, bebo mugaso, enyo. You find a man or woman on WhatsApp the whole day, but she has not sent, or he has not sent a small, just hi to the husband. Oja sango mchala, nga mazeko, luna kuruonanga, aliku WhatsApp, uba aliku Facebook, na yenga tafunye yo, kantuko, nubaka mesejiko naka inza kuwandikida, bawe. The only message you can send 
Message yoka jia inzo kuwe. Na vala zee abasaji ya baku baba kazi. When they have shown men that are beating their bawe. wives, he sends that one to the Abasaji husband. Abasaji abata fayo. Men that are careless. Akona kaweleza bawe. He sends that one to the husband. Abakaza abata fayo. Women that are careless. Akona kaweleza bawe. Sends it to the husband. Bualabu bulalo buli positive. When he sees those that are positive, na. he sends all na the other people. Na yengo we waka guwabeda na ye, ta communicate inzina. Ine inga abadeko, umulabi yali active the full day. But for the one at home, they have not communicated to them. But when this person has been so active on phone the whole day, it's single bukulu social media chase chase to be a The most important thing that social media has taken away from us. Chigamba chita problem solving over conflict management. Yengeti jetuinza. O kujawe bizibu. O kujawe bizibu. O boku tereze songa zafe. O boku tereze songa zafe. O luyomba ganamu ne muchala wo. When a we, when you have a quarrel with your wife, when it would have required you to sit together, everyone goes to their phone. Conflict in Azigwerao, and then the conflict ends there. You get some funny things on the phone. She also gets funny things, and then you go to bed. And tomorrow you come back. But when you have a quarrel with your wife, but these things that happen in bitu life every day bitu teach us how we are supposed to solve Kubanga our problems. Because for us, we are men of Genesis from chapter 3 onwards. Tulibabizibu. We are a problem people. We are a problem people. We must get a skill of solving our own problems. And how do we do that? But once there are problems, someone goes on his phone. The other one goes on her WhatsApp. Everybody goes to bed and they look at their phone. They smile and laugh a little, send some messages and sleep. We can solve these problems. But some of these things come to teach us that we can solve these problems. You'll find that the things that make a marriage are about three. The first one, but it trust. These are the pillars of marriage. Zinompaji nkulu nyo mbufumbo emu wesigwa. Chokango gina kusanga. Then you're going to find ntiate social media breaks them down. That social media is breaking these very pillars. Number one is trust. You cannot trust anyone. You can let me go to a man. You don't, we don't really trust a hundred percent a man with a woman. No basvida munyumba. You cannot trust them with money. 100%. You keep on testing them. But in this age, you cannot trust someone with internet. Free. You cannot trust someone with free to do whatever they want. All the time, the wife will be peeping. Uh, all the time. All the time. Social media is breaking a trust. All the time the wife will peep at what the man is doing on the internet or the husband will look at what the wife is doing on the internet. We also have those sweet messages that were meant for some other destination but they come to your phone. Because trust wajimenya tova kuchi Quintanity, over Oko full time, the work we come on Sunday, Monto Badia, no big kako, Monto Badia, no jaco choba dollar ba. You broke trust, and someone finds that sweet message on your phone and feels bad about it and goes off and raises the roof because she has found such a message. And all the time we try to hide such messages whenever your partner comes close. Not that, not those messages. Whenever we are on internet, but it were too bad for internet. We don't want people to see what we are doing. It breaks trust. Someone is asking, what are you always doing in the corner? 
What are you always watching in the corner? Trust is one of the pillars on which we build marriage. In fact, trust is the currency of marriage. Once you break trust in someone, it is very hard to build it again. The next thing that is a pillar of marriage is security. Someone came to my, into my life because she knew that her future will be secure. She will give birth to children that will be secured. Her spiritual life is secured. Physical life is okay. Security. People feel covered in a marriage that, is, that has security. There are very many marriages with a skull is on the gate, but then there's no security in the home. Security is like the blanket of our marriage. It brings warmth to someone. It brings hope to someone. That's why you tell someone that I'm going to do this and this. You don't have them, but because they have trusted you and they know they're secure with you. Someone is always on the computer. Someone is always on, the, on, on, on uh, WhatsApp. Someone is always on Facebook. They are laughing on Facebook. They are happy with WhatsApp. They are happy with all other things, Instagram, everything that you know that is part of social media. But when they get to you, they are happy Someone becomes annoyed when it comes to you. And you wonder what gives them joy. What makes them please the other side. But when they come to me, you start nothing. having questions. Someone tells you he is But never goes off. But when he comes to you, he says, from me, I'm a quiet person. I don't talk so much. But it says I'm quiet. There are questions there. More especially if you are dealing with opposite sex. Third pillar that is very important is communication. I'll elaborate more about communication as I'm winding up. Communication. Communication is the gateway to someone's mind. Communication is the gateway to someone's emotions. Communication is the gateway to someone's heart. Now if you block communication, or if you, if you communicate in a way that is broken, I'm telling you, you're breaking someone's mind. You're breaking someone's emotions. And you're breaking someone's heart. Those three things are pillars in marriage. You're busy communicating with others. You're busy opening up yourself for others. You don't open up for this person that you stay with. You're breaking trust day in, day out. You have to, to say sorry. Sorry are like sorry every day. And someone asks questions, where is the trust in this person? Communicate, uh, social media is not the problem. Social media The person holding the phone is, is the one with the problem. This phone is magnifying who this person is. Uh, uh, there is no problem with technology. There is one man who said that it is not guns that kill people. The people that hold the guns are the ones who kill people. Because guns are always there in stores and no one has ever died 
uh, in a store because the gun is there kubange mundu wezibere yo mustoa teri muntu kwetu ayi tulidenti ya feede mustoa lo kubanga mundu jeziri but it is the people that use the gun to kill other people na yaba antu ebakoze so e mundu okutaba nawe it is the things that god created that make us defiled ebintu katonda byatonda we defile the things that god created sorry tuono nebintu katonda byatonda yes technology is okay technology ataina buzibu yes uh, 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 Facebook is okay. Ne Facebook taina buzibu. But the people that are using Facebook are the issue. Na ya abantu abakoyesa Facebook we bayino buzibu. In fact they are not the issue they have issues. Si 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 church zibu na yebali na ebizibu. So with our marriage kati mu bufumbo bwa I just want you to imagine what our marriage would be if we used WhatsApp very well. Early in the morning you get a clip you send it to your wife. She sends another one. You keep sending to each other. Every three uh, messages you send to other people, you send to share with your wife. How would it be if you would be full on the, your wife's pe- face, uh, p- uh, page or Facebook? Njagalolooze mu singa twali tukozesa Facebook eno. Ne tuba anti buli message zoweleza yo nya, eyo kutano, oba buli woleza yo satu, eyo kunebera ya muchala oba ya mwamiwo, ngabwe tube tuchikola bufumbo bwa February badde butya. Marriage has objectives, obufumbo buli ne bigendererwa. Marriage has uh, goals, buli na goals etugoba. Marriage has a mission, era buli na mission. Every marriage is different and it is doing a different role in the community. The individuals we see in the world come from a certain family. I'm a product of a certain family. He's a product of a certain family. And we are raising a man for a certain family to marry that girl in the other family. Omulenzi gwe tukuza agenda kubako no muwala gwa waso kuva mu family eliendala so you find that we are working together so jachi sanga ntukolera wa mu to build a country okuzimbe gwanga but it starts with the family na ichi tandikira kumaka what is happening in the families do we have visions and values for the families tulino okolesebwa ne bigendero what are the values of what are your values about communication about social media what are the values of your family about social media do you have boundaries about social media in your family no no chenkulu bintu che bikulu bye mutunulira bwemba mwogera ku ku family ya mwe ku social media ku kwebyo byonna do you have some private uh, facebook page that is personal and you say that you're going to share everything with this person muri nawo ko Facebook page je mugama anti no ya fefe ka yange yange enze ka wano wensobola kuogeraganyiza no muntu ono so I'm here to tell you that it is not the problems are not with social media. So ndi wano kugama nti obuzibute buli na social media. The biggest problem in the world is making a problem where is no where there is no problem. Na ye kizibwe kisinga munsi kwe kufule kizibwe kitali kizibwe. Okufule kizibwe kintu kitali kizibwe. Bro janja be kitali kizibwe bo isabudde. Whenever you solve something that's not problem e then you are wasting time. Abantu abakwata amasimu the problem is with us the people that hold the phone e zimbulu kusachendi mu mutima gwange the phone magnifies what i am inside of my heart. objectives zabo because our marriage our marriages don't have a particular Oloku objective twaingira mu bufumo nga tetuina goals twesanga mukatale twesanga mu service ne bagamba hugging akuliranye eventually no mulaba ne sande janga nyume mukatete ino muwasa without objectives because we entered into marriages without particular objectives we just hugged one another we found ourselves in church and took ourselves ebulichija chigenda tuchankalanya then whatever comes is going to confuse us kubanga tetwina ko chetwagala kumaliriza because we have no objective that Obufumbo we want to get to kubina foundations kwe buzimbira yabukola yekola ko foundations zabo Marriage has foundations on which it's supposed to be built. The creator has foundations on which marriage is supposed to be built. Ekisoko buteekebwa okubantu tuberaga na companionship and partnership. Echo chikulu nyo eyo foundation nkulu mbufumbo companionship and partnership eyo nambe mu katonda ateka obufumbo wabero companionship and partnership. Echo nambe mu one of the major objectives of a marriage relationship is to have companionship and partnership working together. Singa ntambula ne muchala wanga and I find out that we are not having she's not my companion and she's not my partner. 
She's not my companion. I just know that there is a problem somewhere in our marriage. If I'm walking with my wife and somewhere along the way I discover that she's not my companion, she's not my partner, then I will know there must be a problem with my wife. Because we are not achieving. Because the goal was to have a companion and a partner. And you won't become becoming one. So I start measuring myself, my marriage on those, those things, on the foundations. Intimacy is another thing. Intimacy. Because our intimacy in Christ, we are in, we are in a fallen state. Our intimacy, me and my wife, is in us, us both embracing Christ. The more I embrace Christ and the more she embraces Christ you will find that our intimacy is okay. And we are achieving that objective. You find people very, very, very faithful to their phones. Very faithful to their Facebook pages they have to post all the time. But ask them their intimacy with Christ or intimacy with their spouse. Forgiveness is the third one. I'm giving you check, things to check in your marriage. Has social media broken, broken, broken those things? Uh, the first one I talked about, I said companionship. Are you having companionship, getting companionship from the, from the, the people on the media or you're, you're giving them the overflow of your companionship with your partner? Social media, I talked about intimacy. Intimacy, our intimacy as Christians is built on the pillar or is built by our intimacy. First, our intimacy with Christ. Third objective is forgiveness. If you are failing in forgive, forgiving each other in the family, it is one of the objectives because as the matter of fact as we are entering this marriage you said nti pako kufare kulikola chi lekututwa ukanya why are they telling us to swear that thing at the entrance at the entrance they are telling you for good or for better why are they telling you those things at the entrance they are telling you you're going to live by Forgiving each other. The person you're going with into marriage has some leaking areas somewhere. Forgive that person. So we are asking ourselves, one of the objectives in marriage is to find someone who is to who is going to forgive you no matter what? Giving. 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 We enter marriage. Each one of us having in his mind. I'm going to receive. So we enter into a marriage as this person is saying I'm going to give all that I have are you, you're asking Ainabichi. you want to know Aina plot maker. you want to know what day you we enter into marriage as a transaction yes it's a transaction but we are entering into marriage to receive but if we had the, the objective of going into marriage is for each one of us to what? to give 
tuingi na mbufumbo, ngabuli mtuwa inako cha subi do kufuna. Alinachi agenda kumpachi. Na ya te, tuwalibade tuingi na nendo oze gama nti, ngenda kuwayo. Chichi ngendo kuwayo mbufumbo bono. What am I going to give Objective in this marriage? Objective wevu tuwa, wevu tuja achieving. Whenever we achieve this objective. Ogenda kulaba nti you have Entalo za fezike endera Zetuwe tutulubo za nziletebu wa social media Ngugina kuga nganti It is us who entered marriage with wrong motives You'll find that some of these battles Will just disappear if we go with the right motives With the right purpose Another but thing you need to pay attention to That marriage is a ministry I wish we could get that into our mind that marriage is a ministry. If there is any ministry that is, is ever done on earth is marriage. You start two of you. God brings in someone in your marriage. And we are very sure that God is the one who gives us that person. And he puts on something that I want to get an offspring that is godly. As you bring that godly offspring, you are nurturing this child. You are discipling this child. By the way you talk with this child By the way you interact with mother and father You are discipling unknowingly This is ministry As you're going on The father of the husband gets The father of the husband gets sick all the resources go back to take care of the father of the husband The mother of the wife gets sick you get all the man and take care of that woman. You get all the resources and you put them in that, that direction. I'm telling you marriage is ministry. Which means that everything that we have in our family. Beat our phones. Be it our social media. Are used for ministry. Big question we need to ask ourselves. A dear lady who is watching. And you, dear gentleman who is watching me right now, is your social media, let me put it together, ministry in a family. I said I will talk about, I'll basically talk about communication. Because everything started with communication. God does only one thing on this planet. He communicates. All the time he's communicating. He likes communication so much that he even gave us a written code to communicate to us. Our marriage started with communication. Marriage is maintained by how we communicate. It's broken by communication. So we need to pay attention. Social media is a medium of communicating. Social media Communication, when you talk about communication, communication has like eight components. Number one. The source. Webiva. The source is the person who imagines. Webiva Creates. Natonda. He calls the message. I take a message. Na take a message. By choosing what they are going to say. Na take a bulungi na alonda na vichibi agendo kogeda. That is the source. How we wav we wava. The source can be the husband. Asobolo kubo muami. At times it can be the Wife. The source. Wa we So again, when we have trouble with communication, we have when we have troubles, we have to look at how we start, who was the source of this. Number two, the message. The message. The message. Brings together the words and conveys the meaning. The source is you create the things in your mind. What am I going to tell them? Then you bring it out. That is, you put together words and those words have meaning. 
a uh, ebigambo bino ono byasose nalowozaako na teka bulungi na bigatta wa mu bwabiteka wa mu bikolobaka nga buli na che butegeza the channel engeri je bugendo tambula mu the, the way the message is going to travel engeri message je gendo kutambula through the phone egenda kuita ku simu is it through uh, uh, talking to each other tugenda kuogeranga twe is it non verbal Sia kuogeda. Is it kwe silikida mfamilia mbufumbo mwini mwukusilika? That is communication also. Mwini mwukusilika is communication. Mwini mwukusilika is communication. Is it by keeping quiet? Some people think when they keep quiet they are not communicating. But sometimes just keeping quiet is communication. Number four is the receiver. Neyokuna yoyafuno bubaka. This is the person who received the message from the source. Ono ye mtu agendo kufuno bubaka. Okuferi jebwa atandikide. They analyze. They interpret and they try to get to know what was the intention of the sender of this message. Many times we interpret according to the state in which we are. Number five is feedback. Feedback. Feedback is important. It's part of communication. We get feedback in family from our children. We get feedback from uh, our spouses. Now feedback is how the receiver responds to the source. Kati okudamu, yengeri omutu na afunyo wubaka, yadamu ngaza ya maulide, ili jewa avude. Amudiza, amudamba walisa kutegede. Said, I didn't understand you here. Okusinza wabu ya bivunu de. According to his interpretation. Number what? Six. Environment. Ebibe tolo dao. The environment in which you send the message. Oh, where there is a message. It's oh, important baka. also. Na chochi kuru nyo. Environment includes people surrounding the people surrounding. E chochi tuwa lida mwa bantu wa de. The mediums you're choosing, the technology you have decided mm. to use. Omukutu gosa zeo kukoze sa. Let's say you want to rebuke your wife. Obo ya gala kubako. Ne. Ngeri joteleza mchala o. Ne joteleza mchala o. No muteleza mudiro. But you rebuke her from the sitting room. She will also back at you. The environment is very important as you're sending your, your message. So the environment is very important when you are communicating. Number seven is the context. Context. Let me explain what it means. It involves the setting. The scene. The expectations. You quarreled. And you have not put right. And someone is saying, Forgive me. And then you ask, What do you want me to do? We quarreled. And someone comes and says, I love you so much. Let's first put right the first thing. This is that our communication can have gaps. You're saying the right word, but the context is not right. Echigambo choyogera checho chirunji na ye uochogere mbeda jochogera musi intufu. The interferences, the noise around is, that, is the eighth one. The things I'm telling you are standard. Those are the eight components of communication. What I'm telling you are standard things in communication. This is not revelation. These are standard things. There are eight. I've, let me repeat them for you. Those are eight. Number one I've said is what? The source. We wava ovaka. The source of your communication. Awava ovaka wo. Number two is the message. Echo kubiri we ovaka we nini? Number three is the is the channel through which. Echo kusatu omukoto. Number four is the one receiving the message 
from e, the source. Number five is feedback. Number six is environment. Number seven is the context. And number eight is the interference, the noise. So as, as we have said that communication involves the sender and the receiver, because we are talking about social media and social media is about communication. Number one, as a sender, you need a sender uses three things. Use the verbal messages. You're doing three things. These you do them. You, you're, you're, you're using verbal cues or verbal messages. These are words that you choose. We have the non-verbal. This is the body posture. I want you to imagine someone who tells you I love you that is the verbal and the non-verbal I love you and the non-verbal you will find that non-verbal takes 55% of communication I'm talking about the sender now, number three, as the sender, they call it paravabo, P A R A, paravabo. This means, how do you say this thing you're saying? There is the verbal what you say. There is the non-verbal that, that which we pick and understand but you have not spoken it. But there is the paraverbal. How have you said it? As we are dealing with communication in our marriages, pay attention to the verbal. But pay attention very much to the non-verbal. But the paraverbal is important. If someone says, you will not take it. If someone is telling you something but backs at you instead, because we don't expect omuntu okogera omurade nga yogera aseka if someone is sick and is talking to you about his state of sickness but speaks to you while smiling and laughing, you will think this person maybe has a problem on the head. We expect a smile or we, we expect smiles is the paraverbal. The way you do things means a lot. There mm -hmm. are things we don't expect at a morning function mm -hmm. and there are things we don't expect at a wedding function where people are rejoicing. So the way you do something shows exactly what kind of communication you're making. Now we go to the receiver. This is is the waka. hardest thing for us men. Listening requires a lot of concentration and energy. Which we don't have. 
Maybe we have it but we have put it on business, we have put it on other things. By the time we come back home, we are exhausted, the tanker is empty and you want us to pay attention and listen to all the details, the signature, pastor chakola, listening is the hardest. It involves psychological connection to the speaker. Which means it talks about the environment psychological I'm loaded from limu. Now you're telling me the things that are, are depleting me again psychologically. Eventually I'll just recline inside Nizigaleo and I'll start mm, mm, mm. So So embera mongambi dabio nabio yagalo kungamba ngan komye wo chikuru nyo kubanga wobato jipi mye burunji o yinzi o kogera ne maliriza nga neva se ngan sumagi denga sichakuda namu burunji. That's why we have all types of listeners, all types of listening. And if I tell you these types of listening, you'll find that you'll find your wife there or your husband there, all the people that you're working with. Number one. Number one. Now I'm talking about the receiver. Awuliza. There's what we call appreciative listening. Appreciative listening, the only way you can understand it is uh, it comes when we are listening to music. You pay attention to music and if you don't like it, you take it off until you get the, message, the, message, the kind of music that you like. You listen while you are appreciating. It's called appreciative listening. How I wish we can have that in our marriages, appreciative listening. I wish even the people that are sending the message could send the kind of message that could, can be appreciated. There's what we call rapo. Rapo is L A W P O R T. Rapo. Rapo listening. Rapo is when the first time you meet someone, you want to impress them. You want to show them that you're a good person. Now there's that rapo listening. What do you know? Rapo. The first so time. So there is that kind of listening. Then we have what we call selective listening. I can give you an example of selective listening. A woman wanted to tell his boy to stop uh, taking um, uh, alcohol. Then she got a glass of water and she got a glass of um, uh, 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 I don't want to name anyone's brand of waraj. waraj. Let me just say waraj. That's one which is conk. And she got a worm a worm eh? and dropped it in the water. And it was playing around. Then she got another one. She got it again from the water. And she dropped it in the wallage. And it broke into pieces. She asked her son. What have you learned? Remember I'm talking about selective listening. The son said. I've learned that wallage kills worms in the stomach. But the message was not, this boy was just selective. At home, you come home and speak for 10 minutes. 
I, th- I don't know if you have, it has ever happened to you when you're talking to someone because they are selective listeners. They want to hear what they want. They are biased. Osobolo kujie wakano yogere bintu inji nyo na yo lina alonda mwaka tonoru singa wakale singa chao kulabi lako na yenga yeke ya tute. Kubanga mkuguliriza, mubeda mkuguliriza ngolonda mu. Then we have what we call informational listening. Ne wabeda yo kuguliriza ngoyagalo kubeda kubi omanyo wabi otegera. It is intended for learning. Chino chigende wacha kuyiga. It is at times good when a husband or a wife communicates or you be on social media but the intention is to learn it is very okay chiringa olibwana aba ku whatsapp ku whatsapp oba ku simu nabera ko ne byayogeraganya naye nga chigenderwa kya kubera ko byayiga but in this context of marriage i wish husbands and wives and wives could at times have that way you is sending to speak things that are, are worth worthy of listening to because i'm learning from you as my wife or as my husband singo muchalo bo mwami okoze so mukutu guno mu ngeri bwetyo nti opackaginga chowereza ne kibanti kirinako engeri je kina yigiriza obaye oli awuliriza uh, chana chiga konga akifunye then we have this one is this one is for men critical listening then yene ndala ya basajja critical listening is listening to evaluate and analyze kuno kuba kuuliriza no pima pima no fumitiza mbino byo uliriza no bibala no biro this happens all the time whenever a wife comes with a project they come with ambiguous projects from their friends na ita chi project cha gendo kola ngenda kuba mfuna million emitwala atano buli lunaku ate watuga mabuti ne tujamu million za fesa tu buli mwezi and you you're listening critically and analyzing your you do you told him but you're listening critically to evaluate and to analyze via you get up and women mchala. don't like that singo ya gambe okirize bukiriza ntibye bijja kola singo lya jana kubalira oba muri mugwa ya galokola oba business ya galokola na kugamba ngenda kola wenti kole wenti kole wenti mbera kuba mfuna sente weziti gwe no uliriza ngo bironda muno gamba china china asoboka no bibalaba la muri stage kati echo abasajja tuchikola nyo abasajja batero chikola na hata abachala tebatera chagala because they come with ambiguous projects zibauli demo munigi na zibauli dewa na zileta numugamu nange byonga tebigenda kologenda chitekawa tukinda chitekawa ne bwenti maso jire bwenti atabagenyi bana itangawa bajja kubaganyi motoka bajja ziteka bweziti ate mukubu bana azikona ah gani azikona ngai bulijozi parking and you critically analyzing and evaluating and she doesn't see what you're telling them na jamu chisungu ogo mwezi temugenda kuogera and it's just we are trained to have we have a critical mind as men so your wife comes with a complicated program and you keep on asking them how will it work at this stage how will it work and they try to explain to you but when you cannot really figure it out but you keep on asking such questions as to how things will work out and then at the end she becomes annoyed and for month you stop talking to one another there is what they call empathetic listening empathy is uh, is not sympathy there is a difference between empathy and sympathy empathy when you come to me with your problems and i cry as you're telling me your problems it means you get the community nange bi sinna wangu le binuma kati fena tulimu kuwola teli ayamba munne but empathetic listening is to see what you to step into your shoes but with i have the power to show you to get out how to get out of that problem so empathetic listening looks for the feelings and wants to understand the emotions of the person that is talking vunu la kasembye yo no kuliza kuno kulala kuba kuliza ngo yingira ko mu ngato zoyo ayogera nawe naye mu ngeri inti osobola okumuyamba ko yakala bwa ulira such that you understand how they are feeling then we have competitive listening eno ya bakazi be basingo banayo netubera nene ndalange ringe limo okuvuga nyango uliriza as you talking she's waiting to tell you aku alinda ne tani ya yogere obedda go yogere obedda go yogere sitika konange nkubulire obedda byenjogero bifako linda ko kalu yagana yo kuogera mu naye byenjogedde bina ko gera obifudde ko so ekivamu bwe mugana okukiriziganya ku bwanu we muti nga agenda ku social media kuba yeri bayogere le bintu bibatakuru bibata criticizing olibiba gamba bonanga bwani kamno ichi tu fukija kola chojjo kola milioni za ata mtwala ata ne jobo ziteleka miezi 10 ziba sentemeka milioni 5 ola wogula ya protie gundi no cheka mu washing bene kola nayenga 
Apo bayo gata yagala wa mkriticizing, tayagala wa evaluating, tayagala wa kora analysis, na yagala chavadu kina ku social media, jivata genda kole hivyo, wosula ujosule chintu, waba, buli ya muna agama, chidja kola, chidja kola, chichotu kuwa gina tulima begao, hivyo ni bota So, Amen. as we are using social media, katinga tuko zesa social media, I want us to look at those things. You're sending message to many people. But how about your spouse? You're opening up to the whole world. But how about your spouse? They also told me to talk about uh, Abana briefly. I'm just winding up. I'm going to be so brief. I'm going to use the parable that you know very well to talk about children, environment of the home. I will also speak a little about the children because I was asked to, and we shall use a parable. But that's what I had for social media. The problem is not with the social media. The problem is with the people that use social media. We just need to uh, put together our house. So, njogede koku social media, nti yote lina buzibu ungayo, na ye abantu abajiko zesa na ingereje abajiko zesa amu, ye rikuwa buzibu katutuina kuteleza nyumba zafe. I want to use the parable of the sower to, take, to talk about the family. The parable of the sower has four environments. And these four environments are talking about four different families. It can be used to talk about four different families. We are looking at, at the man who went out to sow seed, and this is our Lord. He went out and sow seed, and the seed, let us call the seed, the family. We are looking at the man family. Yeah, the sower as our Lord Jesus Christ who began the family. This is not what the parable means, please, whoever is listening. This, I'm just using this parable as an example to convey the message, to draw a picture, to shade for you a picture of how a family looks like. The first seed or the first family is like uh, it says that behold, a sower went, verse 3, 13, 3 says, uh, uh, Behold, a sower went out to sow seed, and he sowed seed. Some seed fell among, uh, fell by the wayside, verse 4, and the birds came and devoured them. Says, As he went out to sow seed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured the seed. We have some families, and the family is like a way. Everyone comes in, it's like a way, there is no rules, there is no values, there is no objective, there is nothing, no boundaries. Each one crosses in each other's boundaries. It's like a way. The seed that fell in that home, that environment, is on the wayside. So, what are your families? It is it yo. Ngaboli yajia ringa yita mo buisi. Tewali wo principles. Tewali bigende. Tewali chi. Nga ulidinga kuba bantu weba yita. They tell us that, 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 uh, the, the, that the birds represent Satan in that parable. And the kind of people that are in that environment, if you open up your home for everything to go in, every message to go in, everyone to do what they want. After all, for us, we are free in this family. We are not, uh, so might not be so much on each other. Let each one be free. I'm telling you, your family, the people that are going to come out of that family, they are people that have no rules, have no boundaries, have no standards, have no values, have no morals. We have families that are people that are raised from such families or children that are living in such families. And those are people that are unsocial. Those are the thieves. Those are the thugs. They come from such families where family, there are no rules and standards. Family and expectations. Teri ko mateka go naga jifuga. Buli montuwa jiao. Buli montuwa kulida wakola. Buli chonacha asanzo kola. Abantu haba kulida mfamili liwe etio. Bava honga bayaga. Bazibu nyo. Babi kwe gamba. Bantu ntuweba tio. Abazibu kubeda nabo. Verse 5 it tells us that some fell on the stony places where they did not have much earth. 
and they immediately sprang up because they had no depth of earth. Olokutan lugamba, nti nsige ndala nezigwa, awali enjazi, awatali takali inji. Mangu ago, nezimeda, kubanga tezali na takaguamvu. We have some kinds of families that where things are like going on well, so long as they have money, things are going on well. They are in a state where things are like going on well, but when a storm hits the home, when there is financial breakdown, when the father hits or dies, when something happens in the home, the mother dies, everyone gets disoriented because there is no depth. In the family. Wali yo family zimo unge vitu vila vikange vigendo vulunji Nga wali nga wali woku sente Na hibe waba awechi zibu echi guau Wata ata nafa, wama ama nafa Wani waba awechi walumba Bion nabi sasika In verse 21 Jesus mm -hmm. gives us the, uh, the parable He gives us the, uh, the interpretation of that, by, uh, that parable And says Yet he says that these people have no ground They have no root in him He has no root in himself They are, they are not rooted in anything and he says they cannot, because they cannot endure for a while, when tribulation and persecution comes, they immediately fall and stumble. We have kind of, the kind of children when Saint Abizivao, Abana, Nebono, Nekai grew up with some of them, Gabali Bagaga, Saint Abizagwao, Nebono, Neka. Either way. Uh, we have people that go both sides. When there was money, they were doing well. When money disappeared, they were destroyed. Then we have those that didn't have money, they were poor. But when money came, still they were destroyed. Again, we have another family. That is verse, uh, verse 7. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprang up and choked them. There are some families where the parents are thorns. family family There are some families that have thorns everywhere. Even when you come near to them, there are thorns that can easily pierce you. They pierce one another. I'm telling you, walo environments that tutela wabana, nga tato li mukambwe, mama mukambwe, awakanga, tutuwe gala kuda, na wera kawakabwe watyo, ngo wera usabude buziba, no gamba buzibidechi, no ujanga tutuwe gala kuda kaba, no nebagenda nga wako vido, mukomo, mukomo, pakado msigala wekano, tula kulubala za, budine buzibo geno kwa wabagala, wano lingiza, no ingida ampola ampola, there are some families where the parents are so rude, the mother is very rude, the father is very rude, and the child feels uncomfortable to come home, especially when it comes to evening, you say, why has it come to such a time? You don't want to go there because when the father speaks, he backs yes, like a dog like a lion. Yes, they will grow. They will grow. They stay mu egende chama. Sangeri gwa nejifumita na chame no. Na stay mu ne sangeri gwa nejifumita na chame no. Wogena kusangwa muntu nga. Alibuati. Obla mubwa mweta. Tasobla kuta. They cannot express themselves. Bebaga zako kwa expressing themselves. They are aggressive. Kwa gamba gaba zibu. Tuba sanga mubla mu. Wogendo kutuka ke wabwengo. Chade yo. Ngatata mukadda ali kuchitanda nenga yala kubuka wabu kwa kube nga kati ono muzee agenda kubani nengo laba ni mutabani we ni saji isamu gamba wama this is the result the family the home is like this there are people you find that have grown up in such families he keeps on bending and twisting you find their way of life being complicated just because of the way the parents brought them up you find the father is sick but even on the sick bed he looks as if he can jump off and beat someone. Jesus tells us that some fed on good ground. Yes, what to gamant wali and sigezagwa kutake donji. Which was prepared. For you to have a good family, it calls for preparation. Okubane family nonji, cheta go kuteka chin. Sibia kwesoka, sibia gamba banaba ngebajakubaba lunji, wali yomulimu, ogu kolebwa, okubanti, 
abana bava munga balunji waluo mlimo gukolebwa okubanti awakawa belawo environment enunji mama nga si magwa tata magwa abana nebeta mwawaka abana nebeta matata abana nebeta mamama nga magwa gali awaka na ye okubana ebi ntwibyo nga webidia waka chitwala omlimo gubaita yesu gwaise they fell on the ground that was prepared so bringing up a good family, good children, requires work to be done in preparing the home such that there is no such things as being very rude, the mother being very rude, or the father being very rude, but creating an environment where those people will grow. It requires a lot of preparation. There's what we call the mysteries of life. We don't know why. Good ground, everything is good, and others, nebavamu, 30-fold. On good ground, ngatuna naba kulide magwa nebaleta 100-fold, Good ground, thirty fold. Too many will be better. And the people who are going to be good, that are going to be good, mama going to be good, neighbor are Don't mind. Just put there. Good ground, but let me quickly answer. Thirty fold. Good ground. Can you imagine? We come from a long time, but you move a chiri. Then you move a moment and galeta chi. Thirty fold. On good ground. It's okay. Yes, what to gamble? Just so boka. Good ground. No fun a chi. Thirty fold. Nete chiku gana. Kuteka wochi. Good ground. Tugana, wali yu wabakulida mumakama lunji, nebali tasatu kuchikumi, ne wabida yu wabakulida mumakama lunji. But this is Obama, our master saying chikumi, that. Chikumi. Ne wano mumakama wafe ya tugamba bino. He says others, sixty fold, that is okay. Abamu nebali tanka, gata china vuzivu. But he has even told us there are those that bring a hundred fold. Na ya atina tugamba, wali yu nebali tachikumi kuchina achu. How I pray that we prepare, but having a good home, there must be rules Families, we all either grew, we grew from, from three families. The first family is a family that has rigid boundaries. Rigid boundaries. We have grown up in three kinds of families. Boundaries. The first one has rigid boundaries. The, the father, father is, is the, the law. law. The father is everything. The parent is a semi-god, is even a god. Rigid, rigid boundaries, really rigid. When, when the father is the law and he has put boundaries that you cannot cross because he has said it, it is supposed to be like that. Whether, whether they know it or not, provided it's father or mommy that has said Then we have families right. that are permeable. Permeable church in Tokubanga, or go to Labour, only permeable, but you want my Zigaitam is permeable. What is your family in Dalanga Zo? Boundaries, zip on ya. Ngamana, solo genam singer chatata, Fabana Bakudem families is the permeable Bebana, Bagibana, Wasa, boyfriend, or you know, sing cannabis sister bona, or you know, Funa Provoya, Mama, but Auntie, I know, Qua Provinga, I know, Kutalaka, or Auntie, we go, eh, 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 Manangis Kutalanga, what Jim Wagund, what singer, Bullion, my knock so called Quanam Stampo, permeable boundaries, Bully. Everything, tell you secrets. Benabi take a comes at Ogalach singing, it's single cut away, quick catchy, permeable boundaries. Boys that grow up in such families that are permeable, for them, if they want to marry, they have to take the girl to the sisters, the brothers, the aunties. All of them have to look at the girl and no appreciate before. They are no secrets. No secrets. Sister, we no genda ngarwachi yeto genda. Wapadu okulachi. Mugundi ya jene kumbaga yu. Gweno utajia kubathde ya muana we. Pamiebo boundaries abakuli ya mwezo unawewa safari ngarwabu wazamu wazamu wafumbi wa mkazi wa msajia ya kuli ya mboundaries ya zili pamiebo tova kubathide pate tova kukulichimu kuko yingira ulikamu ino kabako ulikamu ingira mbintu bia mune nunji nyesi nunji nyo zile taba mtu wabali lose if someone has grown up in such a family and you have gotten a wife, then the wife must be ready to go and attend every kind of function, birthday, whatever they have organized in the family or in friends, you have to go because they have grown up in such a permeable family, which is lose. The next one is that one which is in the middle. Nga waluo ebintu tata biya salonga tata ya abisala o. Ne tata biya tamanyo mwana agenda kwa university ya koze research. Na mga mga mno gunde no teja kola kose no wajo ya gala wajakwe sasodila. Na ye aliwa kati 
na uliliza na gaga hey yeye kola na agenda busa na kubakwa na mbele mkuu yeye kola gaga kole yuo ngata sala busa zikubanga itata then atengo alu nebi intu ebi mubi muga ba na anga family nenge ebi mo ina security chisenge cho tiba malaga yingi leo tata akonkona so na mbele family yuo abasinga zina kulia moiri rigidi abala mwa kulia mazili pami ebo vata kubira kusimu uli yangu mama ni abote ba kuagala abala kulia moiri rigidi tetu kuba kubanga wakawa be dangu bino uta bivunula Emere yo ngoyo zebo zideke bweru ojaze sanga yo kuwa yange kubezi kubiye emere so wani yo buli winzo yewe reze so wani yo buli buli omwa akola bibiye family linga hotel buli omwa ajja kubibiye kwebaka no gende wa mikwano jojo siba odalwa gulo kuleta tro nebere pamiye bo baino kujja kutukwalira buli babu kwalira mama musanga wansi wa kitanda akitereza oga mama olingiza bichibichi mwa ino kitunulamu esimu yo tojiteka wala buli mwa keberam so we have grown up from such families i want you to imagine a girl who grew up in that pamiye bo boundary na jana afumbiro ya kulya mu rigid the conflicts you're going to find in marriage we batu tubana conference ezo kutujukiza anti denis wa kulira wa Ngatebe kubida masimu. Niramu, suwa ya kudawa nene wana. Zisibe la kusocial media. Social media ambi. Haa, na kule ya mugundi ya rigid ya ta communicating. Mchalo yangi ya kule ya mwe communicating. Tosa mwuga na communicating. Wina mwigiriza. Ba communicating abatia. Nanga ta communicating. Nunga mwunangi. Higo communicating. Because social media is the aid. We are in the age of social media. If we don't use a bintu ya bili muweji mwoli. Obeira irrelevant. Obato genda kuganyurwa, obato genda kufuna mu. Nyeuro kuba eji mwetuli ya social media. Nesa wenu tubatuka kwa mungiri. Rwa social media kubela senga tebadewo. Senga katikute wali ya ulida anjiri. Tuja do to do. Atine meba andijiganyi kwa tu andikulete de corona. Na yu mulembe kwe tulimu kwa social media. Tugukoze so kubuli de anjiri. Chokate tugukoze senyo. Okulaba ntu zimba. Marejezi za fe. Ntu wanu wentu dolu vao. Mchala ngene muwelezo waka message. Inti mazo kubuli da. Na hii nizo kufano, ni mpeleza mikuano jange, bie nkola na bemanyi, bie nsoma na bie nkola chi, ni mbe, nituwe uweleza na inga mchala wange, simu uweleza yuka hai. Simu uweleza yu unti nzija. Chokanga nsubulu kuweleza baku wano, bani bangamba ngeze ka. Jenda geo wakane simu uweleza yuka gamba ka gamba, nzija waka. Neba nubie nkola na abone mba uweleza. Pasa ruzinda, nzenzize waka. Choka jenda geo wakanga simu uweleza, temundangi nkoma uwaka. I want you to know about, to consider social media, ukulaba ante zimba ama kaga fe, e zimba families ya fe, okubeda haba amanyi. Njaga la koma wano, nga emphasizing ebi gambo bie njoge deko. I want to end here, emphasizing some of these words. Let us create an environment at home. Tutekewe embera waka. An environment that will cause us to have a hundredfold, sixtyfold, kali at least thirtyfolds. Embere netu yamba, okubala asa tu, okubale nkaga, ichikumi, Kali, at least ya asa tu. The world is hostile. Nsi nkambwe. Nsi nkambwe. Should the home also be hostile to our children? Katina waka wabede wakambwe. Awa sume seba kambwe balinga mpologoma. The teachers are rude. They are like lions. Ne waka mtata ni mama mutubede. Tubede nge mpologoma. Can we be the same even as father and mother in the house like lions? I can read Luganda very well. Nse gula mansubu lukusumo Luganda bulunji nyo. I can read Luganda very well. But my father made me to hate Luganda. Kulusoma ni runtama. Na hita ata yancha iso kusoma Luganda. Kulusoma ila kumpi. Uluigida kumpi. Kusoma ila isti kololo. Kusoma luzungu. Kuma wawa kana ya kuwa maulile gabo. Kede walu maulile chimuno. No kusoma bimuno biyo tategeira. No bigata katanga. Tebi wera. No bigano kugano. Ne runtama katimbi soma. Nsoma bisoma. Nenga sibite gede bie nsomi. Not that. Sirugezi gezi. Na ye nsoma kusoma Luganda. Bulunji nyo. Neno mbuza o somiechi. Masichimanyi, it is because ya chia chinkoze sawaka ya chintamia. So, as abantu abawaka, let's call it environment. E yambo, e facilitating o mkwano kwa fe, ba spouse, e facilitating aba parents, e facilitating aneba chi, neba siblings. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Katu sabi ebi gambo bino. Chitafa taguwao, tukwe baza oruwa bafumbo, Nja njo gede ku social media nga ngamba nti siche echizibu, echizibu yefe. Tuyambe tulume kwe duka kuku bizibu bia fibe tuina. Teach us to be problem solvers. That we can solve our problems. Social media will not solve our problems. But teach us to solve our problems. This is something that you brought in our generation to use to build our families. Technology has come. 
to, to make our lives easy, to make our families easy, to make our marriage easy, that I can communicate, I can send a message wherever I am to my wife and say hi to her and tell her that I love her and send to my kids and my children and show them that I love them. Help us to build boundaries. Help us to build, to have values in our families. Help us, help us to remember always the objectives and the pillars of marriage. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray it. Amen. Thank you very Amen. much. Uh, let me call upon my uh, chairman to come and take us on. Thank you very much.